Well, let's bring in Congressman Lance Gooden of the great state of Texas. Congressman, good to see you. Cornyn and 17 other Senate Republicans knifed you, here. their constituents, and the incoming House majority in the back by making sure you couldn't stop funding to Joe Biden's open border dumpster fire. As a Texan, I can tell you I'm outraged at Cornyn and the Senate GOP's betrayal in their conduct. Since your voters are really the only important part of any policy discussion, Congressman, how did your constituents handle the news of the Senate GOP's betrayal? Well, you know, we've said since Christmas of last year uh, that voting along with this omnibus bill would put us in the position that we're in today, and that is giving us very little wiggle room. Uh, fortunately, we have this debt ceiling, this debt limit issue uh, to try to hold the Biden administration accountable, but people are so furious that we are still suffering under the horrible policies that were rubber stamped by Republicans in the last Congress, and we're seeing the fruits of those bad decisions uh, come to fruition uh, with what's happening down at the border and across the United States government today. Sir, sir, you're dang right. Now, Congressman, we're also dealing with another Democrat-caused crisis over the debt ceiling. House Republicans, they have done their job by passing a bill to raise the debt ceiling and then curtail Washington's dangerous overspending. But Biden and Chuck Schumer have done no work, zero, nada. They're sitting on their rear ends, sir. If the United States defaults, how can Biden and Schumer claim that the House GOP was, was the one that uh, that actually defaulted rather than them who are sitting on their butts. Well, yeah, they, you know, they can claim anything they want, but I don't believe the American people will believe them. And, you know, the speaker's leadership has really been spectacular. He has kept our conference together. He got the votes that he needed to where we can now, as Republicans, say that we are the only group in town that has made a positive, responsible move toward raising the debt limit. We've said we will raise it responsibly. We won't just raise it uh, without uh, any conditions. We'll do it responsibly. And I have to give credit. I don't do this often. I'm not very thankful uh, for the job that Mitch McConnell has done over there in the Senate, but this is one of the rare times he's actually doing the right thing. And he's deferring to the House of Representatives Speaker Kevin McCarthy and saying, you, Mr. President, need to negotiate with the Speaker. You know, in the past, McConnell has been quick to make a deal with the Democrats. This has been the first time of, of, of any time, I think, since I got to Congress that I've seen Mitch McConnell actually step aside and not save the day for the Democrats. So I hope he will keep that up. I'm excited uh, to see Kevin McCarthy win this fight. And I do believe that Joe Biden's going to have to come to the table. They're going to admit, I believe, in the next week or two that they've got to negotiate. And as soon as they do that, they've admitted defeat. Uh, but I think a defeat for the Biden administration is a win for the American people because we just can't go yeah. along uh, with what we've been doing the last hundred years. Congressman, I've only got 30 seconds left with you, sir, but I want to ask you about breaking news. The FBI has said they're going to refuse to turn over documents. They, they refuse to submit themselves to congressional oversight that implicates Joe Biden in trading cash for foreign policy changes to foreign governments. Sir, why is the FBI allowed to do that? Well, I don't think they will be allowed to do that. And if we have to take this uh, to the courts, we will. But I do believe in, con in the congressional uh, constitutional duty of oversight, uh, wherever that oversight may take us. And I'll, uh, I'll channel Nancy Pelosi. We saw through the January 6th charade uh, that Democrats were very interested in congressional oversight. For, for them to suddenly not be interested in our constitutional duties is is unnerving to me, uh, but not surprising. And I suspect that Republicans in the House will be victorious. We'll get that information and we will hold this administration and this president accountable. Yeah, I suspect Christopher Ray deserves a pink slip, sir, as well. Congressman Gooden, thank you very much. Appreciate your time as always, sir.